I was an oboist. Um, went to Cincinnati Conservatory on a performance degree, but I'd focused on conducting early in my life. I was uh, an early teenager when I became really enchanted by the whole idea of conducting. I never considered myself a great oboe player. Um, and quite honestly, I, I suffered from uh, stage fright. I really would get incredibly nervous before a performance. And what little dabbling I did with conducting, I realized that that went away. And it may have been something just as simple as not facing the audience. Literally, when I put the stick down in, um, at the end of, of uh, June, uh, in 2018, I will have conducted youth orchestras in some form, shape or another, in some city or another, for 40 years. Working with kids is, is just an extraordinary experience because first of all, you have, have the, the future of the industry, the future of the art form. Uh, you're training musicians who will take ch uh, chairs in major orchestras. And I'm very proud of our program here. We've got a couple of kids in the, in the Philadelphia Orchestra. I've got a former student at the Chicago Symphony. What's the first rule in sight reading? <laughs> oh, you guys are genius. My real mission is to somehow plant in the minds of these, of these kids and their hearts that, that a great orchestra is an extremely important part of a great city. Working with a professional orchestra, you go in and you conduct the first rehearsal and you could invite the public, you could charge money for that. But with a youth orchestra, if you take before and after pictures, you're astonished at the progress and that's one of the great rewards, is remembering that first rehearsal when it was unrecognizable to that point eight weeks later where, you know, gosh, that was, I think the composer might actually have found that compelling. One of my uh, goals with, with my departure from the Columbus Symphony, or one of the reasons for it, is to free up my schedule for more ballet opportunities. And it's becoming um, apparent to me that I really, if I'm going to go in this direction full force, I need to have the freedom where scheduling is concerned to, to make commitments. You know, it's the new career at my age. You, it, they say one of the ways to say, stay young is to reinvent yourself, and, and that's what I'm doing.